Serbia has placed uh, digitization and innovation as um, a number one priority in our future development and everything else that we do as, as the government in uh, Serbia. So five years ago, we have uh, decided to almost completely shift uh, uh, our uh, reform uh, priorities and the, the way we, we do things in Serbia. And there were three key areas uh, on which we focused specifically. One, obviously, was the economy. And our goal was to go uh, from uh, investment-driven economy and mainly investment-driven economy mainly based on labor uh, intensive investments where we needed to be because back in 20, 2012 uh, so about about nine years ago ten years ago uh, our our above 25 percent uh, it was staggering it was uh, unbelievable but but at that point in time you know our development goal was um, um, there to the economy which is uh, uh, innovation driven and knowledge based and digital and innovation basically was the cornerstone of that reform the second key pillar obviously was education uh, we wanted to fully digitize our education. We are going to complete that process by 2022. So introducing uh, digital textbooks, um, uh, high-speed internet access in all the classrooms. Uh, um, in 2017, we made coding and programming a mandatory subject in our elementary school. And uh, this year, we are going to have the first generation of uh, school children leaving elementary school with uh, the knowledge of uh, uh, key uh, program languages, uh, Scratch, Python, Pygame, and, and Jupyter. Um, we wanted to focus on education in order to enable our youth to, to, to be prepared uh, for, the, for the jobs of the 21st century. But that really meant to teach them uh, how to think and not what to think. Uh, and the third key area really was government. So uh, introducing e-government, making all of the services that government provides to its citizens and to its businesses, all of it, make it electronic. Uh, that would cut, ta cut time, increase the efficiency of the government, increase transparency, transparency of the government. It would mean fighting corruption. It would mean making the government fully citizen-centric. And then also, what is extremely important to me, it would also, di digitizing the government means that you make government available to its citizens and all of the businesses 24, uh, 7, 365 days a week. The government is basically available to, to its citizens.